Prince Charles has paid tribute to his mum, the Queen, as she celebrates 70 years on the throne. It comes as the Queen, of course, made her wish for the Duchess of Cornwall to be crowned Queen Consort when her son eventually ascends the throne. In just a moment, I'm going to be talking to royal photographer Arthur Edwards and former royal butler Paul Burrell. But first, royal editor Russell Myers joins us. Well, it is quite extraordinary, isn't it? 70 years on the throne. And of course, this, this statement now about Camilla, but that didn't come as a surprise to the couple, we understand. No, I think, uh, good morning, Lorraine. Um, I mean, 70 years on the throne. I mean, what a tremendous, extraordinary achievement. I certainly don't think it will be beaten in, uh, in the near future uh, at all. And of course, this uh, the Queen was using it it to reflect on her, uh, her, her the, the majesty of her, her, her whole reign, uh, but also speak about her father as well. And I think that made a pointed reference about how she uses this as an opportunity to remember his legacy and then what, how she has gone on to, 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 to own it herself. Um, no, I don't think the, the announcement about Camilla was a surprise to the couple. Perhaps it was a surprise to the public and that she would have used the, the opportunity of, uh, of her Platinum Jubilee message to, to make that announcement but um but not to the couple and i think that it's uh, it's been widely and um, well received at the moment i think so i mean it's it's it, it, i i agree with you what i thought was incredible about this statement the queen made and um, that again that was unprecedented but also she signed it your servant i think that just sums the woman up yeah, I think so. I think that, you know, there's so, so many to, points to pick apart in this message. Not only uh, the, the fact that she was speaking about her father, but about the fact that speaking about Camilla, her sincerest wish, she called it, that she will be known as Queen, Queen Consul. But you know, a masterstroke, again, in, in PR, but by labelling herself your servant. Um, and I think that people really ref, re, reflect on the, the Platinum Jubilee and what it means throughout, throughout the year, because there's a, a big year of celebrations coming up. Exactly. Russell, thank you very much indeed. I think it absolutely came from the heart. But is the public ready to accept Queen Camilla? Will join me now. Former Queen's footman and butler Paul Burrell and royal photographer Arthur Edwards. Arthur, you've followed the couple and you've got huge affection for Camilla, haven't you? I do, yeah. I think she's such a star and, uh, and she's just so normal, you know. That's the thing. It's not like you feel uh, in any way inhibited when you're with her, you know. And if you... I mean, I've done it a couple of times, I've messed the picture up and I've asked her to do it again, as she has done. Or she will uh, do a group picture with people knowing that how much that picture means to them, the people. And, uh, and she's just a never, ever grumpy, always, always smiling, always putting her best foot forward every day. You know, she's just... Uh, yes, I, I just you. think that she's just uh, the Arthur, nicest person. The nicest person, what has she done... For him, though, have you seen a massive change? Because you're, oh. the thing is, you've got such an insight into yeah. what goes on in the world. Do you see them when they're not being photographed? Do you yeah. see them, you know, sort of like chatting in the corner or whatever, behind yeah. the scenes? Yeah. And he's changed because of her. He has. He's become much calmer. He doesn't right. get fractious anymore. He used to get quite fractious with people, mm. especially us. <laughs> Did and, you? And, uh, but but he's, never, he's not like that at all now. He's just calm. He's... he's Taken a lot of her book, leaf out of her book. She, right. she's um, always, always engaging with people, and sometimes he has to wait for her because she carries on chatting to people. And she encourages young people to read. She, I've been to prisons where, which is prisoners that uh, cannot read, and she, she encouraging right. them to learn to read, and 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 have worked with osteoporosis. They work with. Um, battered women. Mm. I mean, you shouldn't say perhaps battered women, but women. It's that, a lot of yeah, but women that have been abused. It's yeah, a been, lot been of. Abused work that she does under the radar as well. Oh, yeah. And she has just got on with it. That's the thing. Because yeah. this would, you know, this what we're talking about now would have been unthinkable 15, 20 years ago, you know, when she, when people were throwing bread rolls at her in the uh, supermarket yeah. and she was vilified. I mean, she really was. That's right. And people, the change is quite remarkable. Yeah, people used to ask me about, you know, would they get married? And I used to think, what's in it for, for, for Camilla? Because I thought she would be absolutely destroyed. But no, it's not true. The people took to her almost immediately. The first engagement at the Sandringham Flower Show, she was so nervous and I was there and she just, the people just embraced her and, you know, she's responded. And on a walkabout now, I promise you, the people just adore her, love her. I mean, when Diana was around, I mean, we, we'd be walking out and everybody would say, Diana, Diana, Diana. And... Uh, but now, you know, and, and Prince Charles would be all on his own, but no longer, you know. Camilla 
walks behind Prince Charles. She right. totally supports him. He's in the lead. She follows. Mm. She's a supporter. And, she, and he is he's incredibly happy. And when they something tickles them, they laugh. I remember we were in Canada and there was this throat singer and, and she was very funny. And the Duchess couldn't stop laughing and she was giggling. And the Prince ended up, they were both hysterical. They just couldn't stop themselves. They've got the same sense of humour. You yeah. mentioned Diana and, of course, Paul Barrow. Paul, you worked for Diana, as you called the boss, and we were just saying, you know, yeah. she famously said three people in the marriage. What do you think about the prospect of Queen Camilla? Because, like I was saying to Arthur, it's something that you wouldn't ever have believed possible 20 years ago. No, you wouldn't have, would you? Um, as you know, Lorraine, uh, my royal service has been devoted to Her Majesty and to Princess Diana, because 11 years with the Queen and 10 years with Diana, um, that's quite a time to understand these people. Um, I, I see what the Queen's doing. I, I know she's preparing a smooth path mm. for the transition of this monarchy to the next monarchy. And yesterday I was very sad. I was very sad because I saw a, a frail Queen sort of at Sandringham. And I, I was thinking of the times that I was with her and she was strong and fit and healthy. And, and I realised we're coming to the end of this monarchy and she does too. Um, I remember feeding the dogs at Windsor once with her and she said, um, we were talking about the coronation and she said, I swore an oath before God in Westminster Abbey to serve my people for as long as there's breath in my body and that's what I'm going to do. And she dolped out another portion of pedigree chum <laughs> for the corgis and she was just a matter of fact. Uh, I think it's a remarkable um, arc of public um, transformation which uh, Camilla's had from those days of being public enemy number one when she was pelted with bread rolls in a car park in, in Gloucestershire to being queen in waiting. I think it's quite remarkable, that transition. I do agree we all must move on. Um, we must embrace the new monarchy as it, as it happens because that will be a bridge to the next monarchy. Um, I'm not stuck in the past at all, but I, I can't forget, you see, because I'm still devoted to the princess. And I, I think about, I was sad also about all those millions of fans across the world who still are devoted to the memory of Princess Diana yeah. and who were told in 2005 that Camilla would never be queen. She would be styled as princess consort. Now, that was obviously the grey suits at Buckingham Palace trying to make Camilla more acceptable to the general public, because I do feel that there's still a sticking point there somewhere in selling Camilla to the world. And um, I hope we overcome that because I'm a monarchist. And as you quite rightly said, Lorraine, when the Queen signed that declaration, your servant, that's what the monarchy is. Mm. Um, it's there because the public want it to be there. And as long as the public want it, it will be there. But I hope the day never comes when the public say, we don't want them anymore. And this is a tricky time for the monarchy, a transition between this grand Elizabethan era to the next monarchy and then on to, of course, Kate and William. Mm. I want it to survive and I hope it does. What Camilla has done for Prince Charles, of course, he's, she's there as his mainstay, as Prince Philip was yeah. for the Queen. And to be a monarch is a, a, a thankless position. and. Uh, uh, they need someone to lean on. So Camilla is that person for Prince Charles. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much for, for your words. I mean, do you think, Arthur, we're going to see less of the Queen? She'll maybe step back. She did, I mean, she looked, she's fantastic. She's 95, for goodness sake. Yeah. But I must admit, she did look thinner yeah. and a little bit more frail, but yeah. that's totally be expected. She's a 95-year-old woman. That's true. She hasn't done a, an engagement, an outdoor engagement since sure. October. She's done an investiture for 18 months. So she's, they're reining right back. And they say that there is a programme for March, but it will be around Windsor Castle. Right. Things like that. I don't think... Um, recently, I did an engagement with her in, well, recently in October, where she went to Westminster Abbey and she had the walking stick. Right. What people don't know, they took the car to the nearest door so she didn't have to walk all the way down the Abbey because it was too much for her. So, um, you know, she, as you say, <clears throat> she's 95. I think she does look frail, and I agree with Paul there, but she's smiling and she's laughing and she's carrying on. And, she is. You know, that's the spirit. And... I'm so pleased she did that for Camilla because when the Queen wishes something, it comes oh, true. It's done. That's <laughs> it's it. Done. End it's all. Done. No and, discussion. And, and it thank must you be very such much. a relief for the Prince of Wales who wanted that so much. No, of course. Yeah. Of course it is. Arthur, thank you. So it's, it's great pleasure, to talk yeah. to you. Thank you so much. And like we say, she might be frail, she might be a wee bit thin, but look at that.
I know, she still gives everything, she you know. She's radiant, a... radiant. Absolutely lovely, yeah. And uh, hopefully she can yeah. celebrate her 70th, 70 years on the throne this year without too many distractions. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.